Coming up in Jack, we're going to be taking a look at the topic, ascorbic acid and protection against contrast-induced kidney injury. And I'm with uh, Dr. Umar Sadat, MD and PhD, from uh, Cambridge in the UK. And this is a fascinating paper. I mean, we're talking about ascorbic acid. Does it protect against uh, contrast-induced acute kidney injury? And what you've done is you've actually taken a, a meta-analysis of all kinds of trials. First off, why did you do this? What got your interest? I mean, we're looking for the for that pharmacological agent which can reduce the incidence of contrast nephropathy. We don't have any pharmacological agent up to date. The only medication that we normally use is normal saline or intravenous hydration. So we're looking for that pharmacological agent which can help us reduce the incidence. And vitamin C has never been explored before in a meta-analysis. So we thought we'll look at the evidence from literature and see what evidence comes from it. When you first looked and saw that ascorbic acid was being used or at least evaluated in this, did you get excited over the concept of this is a pretty simple approach if it works? It was pretty unbelievable, you know. I mean, you'd never expect ascorbic acid being used as a medication. Yeah. It's always been used as a as a health supplement, uh, but yeah, it was quite uh, exciting for us, you know, to undertake this challenge and see if there's any evidence, a convincing evidence from literature, to suggest that it can be useful. Well, let's talk about the evidence, and then we can talk about mechanisms. But first, what did you find in your analysis? We found that patients who were taking ascorbic acid, they had about 33% less risk of having contrast-induced acute kidney injury, which is quite significant, actually. Uh, previously, many meta-analyses have been done on other pharmacological agents, most commonly on N-acetylcysteine. And there has been an equal split, you know, some suggesting there is benefit, right. some suggesting there isn't. But with this one, with the kind of analysis that we performed statistically, it gave us a lot of convincing evidence that it can be quite useful in clinical practice. What's the mechanism behind this? Well, there are multiple mechanisms which we think it, uh, it involves, you know, uh, before it can protect a kidney. Number one, it is antioxidant. It ex absorbs all those reactive oxygen species which we think are responsible for causing kidney damage. Secondly, there is some evidence that it can also dilate the blood vessels within the kidneys, cause, causing medullary vasodilatation. You know, medullary vasoconstriction is one of the mechanisms by which kidneys right. are damaged by contrast media. So perhaps that's another mechanism. And thirdly, we also know that patients who take ascorbic acid, they do not have acidification of their urine. In fact, what we found was that the urine pH was increasing, i.e. there was some alkalinization of the urine. Now, making the urine alkaline is itself a protective mechanism. So that's something which is very, very surprising from the literature, that that mechanism can also be a helpful way to protect the kidneys against the contrast media. And because it's ascorbic acid, that is a surprise. <laughs> that is a surprise. I mean, it should be acidifying the urine. Yeah, there, but there have yeah. been a few reports which suggest that the pH is increasing which just goes against anyone's expectations. Wow, so where are we? What needs to be done next? Well, we have to understand, you know, what precisely is protecting the kidneys when you take ascorbic acid. All the pathways which are involved in this, uh, after, after taking ascorbic acid, we need to identify all of them. And of course, then it will be up to us, you know, whether we give it uh, orally or whether intravenous administration and also by the dosage, because that's also something which has not been decided yet. Right. Are you using it at all yet? Uh, we have uh, done a few studies uh, in Cambridge uh, which do suggest that ascorbic acid can be helpful, but they have not been properly powered you know, into a right. large trial. They are all pilot studies, and they have shown convincing evidence that ascorbic acid can be useful in patients. Of note is the, is the point that those patients all did not have a pre-existing renal insufficiency. So okay, once, we start, once we start using them in patients who have got pre-existing renal insufficiency, that will be the key point, you know, right. to see if this is really useful or not. Well, for all the details, you really do need to go look at the paper in Jack. It is in the December 10th issue of uh, the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, and we're talking about the nephroprotective role of ascorbic acid. For Dr. Sadat, I'm Rick McGuire, CardioSource World News.